chair. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. These are my blue light glasses, not my actual glasses. <laughs> Today, da, 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 I'm literally setting up the camera in this very moment. We're doing a makeup organization video. I thought this would be fun because, well first I'm gonna point the camera at me so I can talk to you guys. I thought this would be fun because I have not changed the way my makeup has been set up since I literally, I guess, organized it. Um, and it's time for a change, it's time to make it better. And so, that's what we're gonna do. Um, so, I'm gonna try to be like asmr -y, maybe do a voiceover. I haven't really fully thought this video idea through. Nonetheless, that's what it is. Also, there may be a pause because I'm still during work hours. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. And let's get into it. 95% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so I'd appreciate if you hit that button and stick around. Also, I decided to change the camera angle because I felt like this was better for you guys, so. Literally going to be starting by pulling everything out. So I decided we're doing a voiceover, kind of because I want to, you know, show you guys along as I go and kind of narrate why I'm doing what I'm doing. I only decided to put the pulling everything out in fast motion because literally that's all it is. We're just pulling everything out of the drawers and everything out from the top to find a new home except for the brushes because I just have two little jars all the way to the right if you can see that and they're just going to stay in that home. Okay guys, we're finally gonna get into it. First, I wanted to show you the disaster that my desk was, um, but trust me, we're gonna make it organized and beautiful. And we're starting it right off. I wanted to start with the setting sprays. I kind of moved my little circle tray in more and I'm putting my setting sprays to the side before they were like more in the center, but I kind of wanted to put them off to the side just because they're bigger, bulkier products. And yes, I mean, not everything has to have a perfect decision of why things were moved where. Then I kind of wanted to focus on primers. Primers are the first step, but I did have quite a few, so I decided to work on primers. I kind of wanted to focus them more in the back that you can see, so some of my bigger products are kind of sitting there in the front right now. I'm really trying to play and like make it look as pretty as possible. Um, you know, you're organizing, you want it to look good, um, and then I decided to push the primers back a little bit as you can see I'm like thinking about it I decided I really wanted to flush back because I do focus on a lot of the same primers but I have some that I keep just in case I want to keep using them I also decided to put eyeliners in the back of this tray here because although I love eyeliners and I have a few fun colors I really don't use them as often as I would like and I kind of had them more center and forefront so that's why I'm now focusing them more in the back I decided to keep focusing on like my smaller tube products. I actually don't have a lot of mascara just because I'm extremely consistent with what I like and I decided to keep them in the little circle thing just on the side just because there's not too many of them. And then I moved on to my eyebrow products. I wanted this in an easy access spot too. So I was thinking the middle but then I moved them to the side because I really wanted to mix things up and before I had them both in the middle. So now I wanted them more to the side and I've gotten a lot of new eyebrow products so there was more space for them and they could all fit into the one place together. I also had a few miscellaneous products like lip liners and some Charlotte Tilbury's and a primer that I forgot so I was just taking them in their homes and then a few more tall products in the back that I stuck in there that don't use often but I do use and I started to focus on again some of my like taller foundations that are just not going to fit nicely and here's the whole top I think it came out great and then I just had a few little more products to do um, I wish I got a better angle of this but really I'm just putting out my concealers least used in the back most used in the front trying to keep it as best access to use and any more few random products that I felt like I really needed to stick up there also like eye primers those sort of products okay we made it onto the drawers 
So I'm starting at the bottom with the bigger, bulkier products that I know are going to need the bigger space, like powders. Powders can take up so much room because they're round, so you kind of lose some space that way. So I'm really trying to focus on those. In the next shelf above, usually I kept my lipsticks on the right. To mix it up, we're putting them on the left. This drawer is really just dedicated to lip glosses because I just, that's my main product now. My main lip product. This row I decided to put my mini eyeshadow palettes, the ones that are just not super big and can fit in a drawer. And they all fit in there kind of perfectly, so it ended up working out really nice. And for the top drawer, I actually really didn't decide, so I ended up leaving that and moving to this other drawer at the bottom. Sorry about the angle. I did a little some finessing with this drawer for my big foundation and powders, and I was able to do a little jigsaw puzzle. As you can see, I struggled, but once I switched, they all fit in there perfectly. The drawer above it, I decided to focus this one on blushes and bronzers. Usually I kind of just like stuff the products wherever, but I decided to categorize this time probably as they should be. Turns out I have a ton of blushes, so they fit in the drawer really nicely. And then I put bronzer right above it because literally that makes the most sense to have bronzer and blush right next to each other. At least I think so anyway. And again, I still had room, which is just amazing. Like. All of a sudden, I was finding extra room for products. Above it, again, highlighter. The three kind of near each other makes sense because those are the three that you're putting on like the highlight points of your face. A lot of maneuvering, a lot of functioning, but making it all fit. In the tiny shelves above, this is where I'm putting the last of my lip products. I had some that were not glossy, more kind of lipstick and more matte, and they all happened to actually fit in here perfectly. And then on the right side was also my little mini glosses. I had a few that were just tiny, more travel size, but I don't travel with them, so to speak, and they just fit perfectly in these little drawers. I don't know about you guys, but that went a little faster than I anticipated. Um, but somehow, literally, you guys saw in the beginning that all my makeup took up the full space and now I literally have extra room. I never showed you guys the finished product, so here it is, everything all lined up. We've got the primers, all the products in the circles. As you can see, these two empty spaces don't even have anything in it everything lined up here here's a closer shot of the concealers that i didn't get to show all lined up i also had a, these foundations put here that were on a shelf before here are the lipsticks and we've got oh and we've got highlights oh everything okay sorry these drawers are a little old we've got bronzers blushes here's that little jigsaw foundation i did powders lip glosses, um, eye products, eyeshadows, and then this random drawer where I just put like extra products I had. Like guys, I have so much more room now. I don't understand how I didn't have any before. It's just better organization, which um, throws me off because now I feel like I need to buy more makeup. Is that what I need to do? I don't know, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I did. I really needed to organize, so it was double whammy for me, if you ask. Um, but let me know if you want to see more videos like this, uh, maybe more makeup hauls. I don't really do big makeup buying often, um, so let me know and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!